Welcome to Albert S. Cook Library at Towson University. This brief video will share some strategies to use for better search results when using academic databases. Library databases can be great tools for researching a topic, but they don't operate like search engines do. Search engines like Google use algorithms and natural language to generate results. Databases retrieve results using specific keywords or phrases. But before we explore what to search for, let's explore how to search. Search tip one, use advanced search. The single search box many databases display first is great for searching simple concepts, but it won't function the same way Google does. Advanced search is more powerful for retrieving useful results using keywords. It will look something like this with multiple search bars. Now on to search tip two. Break your research question down to its essential keywords or phrases. Let's say our research question is, how does social media impact a child's mental health? If we remove all the parts of this question that make it into a full, complete sentence, we're left with the keywords social media, child, and mental health. So that's what we'll put in the search bars. There are over 600 results and many do seem to be mostly related to our research question. However, a little tweaking can give us even better, more accurate results. The first thing to do is make sure the database searches for the phrase social media and not the individual word social and the individual word media. To do that, we need to use quotation marks. And we want to do the same thing with mental health. So we use quotation marks again. That was search strategy three, use phrasal searching. By searching for phrases, instead of multiple individual words, we've reduced our results somewhat by eliminating those that weren't relevant. Our third and final keyword, child, is not a phrase, it's just one word. So we don't need to use quotations. However, child can be part of a larger word like childhood and children. So let's have the database search for these variations. To do that, just add an asterisk after child. That was search strategy number four, use truncation. Okay, these results seem promising, but even if we're not satisfied from results uh, from an initial search, that's okay. We can always search again. And more importantly, even an unsuccessful search might give us ideas on what to try differently. In this case, we have over 600 results. And if we find one that looks promising, we can try to identify additional keywords 
by looking at that item's subject terms. Specifically for this item, we see that well-being might be a good alternative to use for mental health. Which brings us to search tip number five. Synonyms are our friend. Synonyms are words or phrases that mean the same thing. We might also expand a search beyond direct synonyms to include related terms. Let's pause and return to the result list before we start changing our search query to include synonyms. To recap, databases don't suggest things based on keywords. They only look for the exact terms provided. In this case, our search probably missed all the sources in which the author used adolescent or youth instead of some variation of the word child. So let's add synonyms to our search and fix that. Already, our results increased by 300. Now, let's think about the keyword social media too. When we think about social media, we might also think about Instagram and Facebook. These are related concepts. So, let's add these terms to our search and see what happens. Suddenly, our results are in the thousands. And if we revisit our search query, we might be surprised just how many words and punctuation marks are included. Let's double check that what we're searching for makes sense. We help the database understand even complex searches like this one by practicing search strategy number six, use search connectors. Search connectors, also known as Boolean operators, are how the database connects all our keywords. The three most used operators are and, or, and not. Did you notice we're already using two of them? Let's recreate our search in another database to practice and review. Back on the library homepage with Cook One Search, let's practice tip number one by selecting Advanced Search. This interface with three search bars looks familiar. By default, these operators are set to AND. This asks the database to look for information that mentions both keywords. Using AND will focus or narrow our search. Keep in mind that each search bar gets its own idea. And each idea, in this case, our keywords child and mental health, gets its own box. So let's have the database find results that include child and mental health. We've successfully used advanced search and keywords. Now, let's add our synonyms and related terms. We use the connecting word or to find more results. Specifically, let's add some synonyms for child. We'll add these to the same box that has 
child, and we'll connect synonyms with or. Did you see how our results increased? We've got millions to make sense of, which is a good opportunity to explore the last search connector, not. Not can be useful if you are searching, if you're seeing results that are way off topic. For instance, let's say we want to explore positive impacts of social media on mental health, but as we can see on this page already, many of these results seem to focus on negative impacts, such as anxiety. To change this, let's have the database exclude those listings by adding not anxiety to the search. And do you see our results dropped by over 1 million? That's helpful, but there are still way too many. Which brings us to our final tip, search strategy seven. Limit results to what you need using database search filters. If you've ever shopped online, you have probably seen and used filters before. Many databases like this one have options to limit the results you see. For instance, let's say our assignment rubric requires use of recent peer-reviewed journal articles. I can use these limiters on the left-hand side to adjust publication date and format, specifically, I can display only sources published in the last 10 years. From academic journals. That have been peer reviewed. And with that, our search results are less than 400,000. Those filters really worked some magic, didn't they? That's why you should always explore limiters on whichever database you use to make sure search results work for your needs. And with that, we hope these search strategies use advanced search, use keywords instead of natural language, Use quotations for multi-word keywords. Use an asterisk to search variations of a keyword. Add synonyms and related concepts. Connect keywords using and, or, not. And use database filters to narrow results. Lead to happy researching. Above all, remember that research isn't a straight line and you can revise your search as you go. But if you do happen to get frustrated or feel stuck, remember that Cook Library workers are happy to help. You can contact us by chat, email, phone call, text, or individual appointment. Learn more at bit.ly slash tu ask a librarian. That's bit period L-Y forward slash capital T capital U ask with a capital A A capitalized librarian with a capital L. Thanks for watching this video and remember we're here to help.